Good morning, this is Howard Clark here in Grenada for the Catamaran Company and today we are on a Lagoon 470 called Anamkara. She's a great boat, she's got lots of features. Let's get going, show you what she has. So here we are on the west coast of Grenada as we meet Anamkara. It's uh, early in the morning, the breeze has not really picked up yet and uh, so we're just meandering along in about 10 or 12 knots a breeze right now. So the crew have just sailed her overnight and they did that on a single reef so they've still left that in so we're gonna follow her along and see how things go. It should uh, get a little bit more breezy once we get towards the uh, uh, the southern most part of the island and uh, which is only a couple of miles away now. So the 470 is a, uh, a nice sailing catamaran. She's got some good performance. The hulls are a little bit narrower than some of the later boats. And, uh, and so she definitely uh, knows how to pick her heels up when, when the wind picks up a little bit. So as we approach Point Salines, that southerly tip of Grenada and start making that turn to go along the south coast, uh, we're now pushing into that knot or so of current which is, uh, which is working against us now. So Anamkara is going to have to work a little bit harder to maintain her speed over ground. She's doing 8 knots on the, uh, on the GPS speed over ground, so probably closer to 9, maybe a little bit more uh, with that one reef still in. So uh, she's doing really well. So it's almost time for us to leave Anamkara to it. She's heading for her marina. So we're going to catch up with her in a little bit and then we're going to do a walk around. So uh, stay with us. Uh, let me show you um, about the cool features of Anamkara. So standing here on the port side bow and panning across there's those very distinctive lagoon vertical windows that let so much light into the uh, the salon and uh, but we also have a, uh, a very nice webbing trampoline that's in in really good condition panning across from the other side you can see we've got a rockner or a rockner style spade anchor there with the very distinctive hoop on top uh, to help it uh, right itself the spade anchors are really popular this style it's probably one of the most popular anchors at the moment. So just in front of this long windows there's two good sized lockers as we're looking at it here. The uh, locker on the left 
is the anchor windlass or the chain and the spare anchor is in there so that's kind of a wet locker but uh, on the right as we're looking at it this is the soundproof generator so it's an Onan generator in its soundproof enclosure and uh, the good thing having it right here it's as uh, close as it can be to being in the middle of the boat to help with weight distribution these generators really are premium and uh, they normally go many thousands and thousands of hours if they've been maintained properly So as we look at the stack pack, it's uh, it's all nice and new, only a year or two old. And um, as we look inside, I unzipped, so we can have a look at the sail. The mainsail is in great shape. It's not very old at all. It's only a year or so old, and uh, so there's plenty of life left in this mainsail. And the jib is also in great shape. She was replaced at the same time as the mainsail, so uh, you've got no worries about your sails and looking here in the cockpit it's all got new cushions as well everything is uh, it's not very old in fact all the canvas work on this boat has been uh, recently replaced in the last year or two so it's all it's all in good shape uh, but the uh, the cushions have been done for the whole of the of the cockpit here there's probably seating for maybe 16 people it's quite a big cockpit plenty of of seating so it's a very comfortable place to be and uh, and to entertain There's a really nice solar panel array here just over the davits. This creates a, a really nice sunshade as well for the dinghy. The longer the dinghy stays out of the sun, then uh, the longer it will last for sure. And uh, so that has a, a double use, creates uh, plenty of power and keeps that dinghy nicely in the shade. So let's have a look in the mechanical space and so we're on the port side and here is the Volvo engine everything in here nice and clean and uh, so it just has that air that the boat has been looked after which is always nice so let's open up the hatch on the starboard side these latches here really easy to open you can padlock them closed if you want to there's gas rams to help you lift this up and make sure it stays up but in this engine bay the Volvo engine again nice and clean everything is neatly organized and we do very much like to see these neat clean well maintained engine bays In the engine bay we also have a uh, nicely installed spectral water maker. So the starboard side we have a 50 amp power inlet for when you're plugged into the marina. This little cover here uh, covers up the emergency tiller connection we've got some life rings just attached to the starboard rail this is just showing the bimini all the way around you've got this zip where you can zip on the extra parts of the bimini and the sun protection comes down the side here's a picture of what those screens look like uh, these are going to be really useful uh, normally the last couple of hours of the day at least as that sun starts to go down it starts coming uh, right into the into the cockpit and, uh, and warming the, the boat up so it's nice to have those just for that couple of hours to keep the boat nice and cool so you can sit and relax without uh, without getting that late afternoon sun.
So at the nav station, let's have a look what equipment we've got here. So we've got the engine start panels underneath that. So we've got some fuel gauges. You've got your depth, your wind, your compass, your chart plotter, and your autopilot controls. So visibility sitting here at the helm seat is pretty good. I can see the port side bow. I can almost see the starboard side bow. Uh, looking behind us, I can see uh, uh, both sides of the rear of the boat, the transom steps there, and uh, so visibility here is pretty good, but uh, if you're coming into a dock and you want extra visibility, just unzip this, stand up, and uh, you can see all four corners easily. Just here on the port side, uh, towards the back of the cockpit, is a two-speed electric winch. This is really handy, firstly for adjusting the traveller, but also your dinghy lines can come back to this, so walling the dinghy up is not the chore that it would be otherwise, and uh, it just makes life that much more convenient. There's a rail mounted to the coach roof and an extra zip on the bimini here for the forward protection. Storage here in the cockpit is pretty good. There's three good sized lockers. This one's got hoses in just to our left. There's fuel cans and things in, uh, in the other ones. And uh, just underneath the cockpit floor here, underneath the teak, there's uh, cleaning supplies uh, just under this one. So there's, uh, there's a good amount of storage here. Okay, so let's uh, step inside and, uh, and go through the inside of Anamkara and see how she's laid out. So inside the salon, and it's a really nice big open space, kitchen on the starboard side, seating area there on the port side, there's room for an extra couple of freestanding chairs if you need more seating than the U-shaped seat will allow, three burner stove, the oven is just underneath, to the right of here we've got the freezer, to the left in the edge of the picture we have the fridge. The nav station here is a good size. Everything is neatly laid out. You've got water tanks over here and the generator start panel. On this version of the 470, the starboard hull is the owner's hull, so this is a three cabin version. And uh, so the privacy uh, door here just slides so that you can shut yourself off from, uh, from the main part of the boat. Once we're down in the starboard hull, uh, the companionway steps are just there, heading through now into the, uh, the master cabin. Bed here is a good size, convenient shelf. Just over there on the side, two nice fans to keep the air circulating. Two little uh, bedside lights, the air conditioner vent is just here on the shelf on this side. And there's a, um, a chair and a, a desk area. Heading forward, there's a little bunk here on the right hand side, some extra shelving, the emergency hatch there on the left and a nice big wardrobe on the right. Heading through into the master bathroom, it's a nice big space, the head just down here on the right 
and then the sink area. Two vanity units there. And then heading through into the walk-in shower. So we're now down on the port side and this is the Ford cabin here. It's a nice uh, light cabin. Uh, got some uh, additional storage here just uh, up on the right hand side. The uh, uh, bathroom head area is just right next to the cabin. It's a nice neat area. The aft cabin um, is another bathroom here just on the left as we walked in this one's being used as storage right now for all the the covers and uh, bimini parts and barbecue that's not been used at the moment plenty of storage here in the companion way in between the cabins so that just about wraps up our walkthrough of Anam Kara. so I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you enjoyed seeing her under sale and uh, if you want more information then please contact me you're going to see my details at the end uh, howard.clark at catamarans.com or my phone numbers uh, will be listed at the end so make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can see more videos because we're going to have got some cool videos we've got some cool boats coming up and uh, but if you want more information about Anamkara if you're looking for something different than this or if you've got a boat to sell then give me a call let's have a chat this is Howard Clark from the Catamaran Company have a great day